Hey, what's up? Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a live demonstration on how to infuse from a glass bottle, in particular with a focus on albumin. However, before we begin, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get into it. So there are three different types of medications that come in a glass bottle. Three of the ones that I've commonly seen is one, your albumin, which is used for your dialysis patients. It's used in the setting of when the patient's blood pressure may drop. So they'll say their blood pressure is on the softer side. So they are hypotensive. So they need that blood pressure to go up so they can give some albumin, which will be on your order set. In addition to that, I've also seen this given with patients that have had a paracentesis where fluid is removed from the peritoneal cavity. And I have also seen this for your patients that have the weeping skin. So they have the third space fluid shift, so they will be given a volume of albumin to help replete that volume to help increase their blood pressure. Another medication that I've seen given in a glass bottle is your nitroglycerin for your hypertensive patients. And another medication I have seen is also your Ofermib, also known as your IV Tylenol, has been given in a glass bottle. However, those are three um, most common medications provided. If you have any other medications that you've seen been given in a glass bottle, comment below. So when you give your medication, you always start off with your IV set, which is universal for both. So you have an open vent or a closed vent. The open vent is given for medication that needs to be given in a glass bottle, or you have your closed vent, which is medication prepared to be given in a plastic bag. So let's jump into the steps. So you've been given an order to administer albumin 25% for your patient that has a low blood pressure. So you are going to go through your medication rights, gather all your supplies, do your hand hygiene, you have your IV set and you have your medication that you'll be given. You'll want to close the roller clamp and you never want to open the vent. You want to keep that closed for now and I'll let you know when it's time to open. Then you have your glass bottle. You're going to pop open or flip the cap. Then you're going to remove the plastic cover from the spike. Be sure not to touch the spike. You're going to hold on a firm surface the medication. You're going to spike it. Okay. And then you're going to turn the medication upside down. And you'll see here, I still haven't opened the vent because I need to fill the chamber two thirds full before I open the vent. So keeping the vent closed, I'm gonna squeeze the chamber. Okay. Now let's say the vent was open before I filled the chamber. It could slow the flow or block the flow or even cause an increase in like air bubbles. So you wanna be cautious with that. We're gonna hang the medication on the IV pole. Now that I filled the chamber, now we can open up the vent. Okay. And now I can open up the roller and prime. And you'll notice that there are not any air bubbles. It went in smoothly because we did the opening of the vent just at the right time. Now you wanna make sure that you open the vent at the right time because if you open it before even spiking it, it could potentially slow the medication administration um, or hinder it by causing air bubbles or maybe sluggish, whatnot. And then this is where you would connect it to the patient. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out one of my other videos and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.